tell you though. Look at the crowds now. You would not believe it. Well, every 10 minutes we have the Randon. You could take a foot bath right here on the platform, which I intend not to do. Then you have to put your socks back on and your shoes back on. The day. Masa, what is this temple called? This temple is Ninnaji Temple. And I already see the guardians out there waiting for us. How old is this one? Uh, this one is built in 888. You come here to see the architecture. Informal reception rooms. Love the screens. Important people, so uh, the emperor and aristocrats used. Well, if I put my whole backyard into gravel, I could just see me going out there raking it every day. Probably easier than mowing. A cherry tree and a citrus tree acknowledge that this was for the emperor. You know, you, th you think you've seen temples and you've seen temples here and then each one is more beautiful than the next. And you look at that maple right there. <laughs> Just another UNESCO World Heritage Site. I am being sarcastic because it is absolutely gorgeous. This is the most important room, most important building, even though it's from 1999. The decorative wood is all Japanese cypress from Kiso Imperial Forest. And it's one of the finest examples of post Meiji wooden architecture. The cushions for Emperor. Uh, and that is a uh, founder of this temple in 888. He became a monk. He was a pious Buddhist. And after that, traditionally, this temple has uh, the priest from imperial family. Beautiful, and also the woodwork. A lot of uh, people in power can see Look at the uh, uh, peacock. It was imported. But in his left hand. A healing Buddha, but that's not a real one? Um, that's a replica. Uh, it's behind the door. Oh, you see a door behind the Udu statue. Here is uh, your suffering with a medicine <laughs> holding in his left hand.